On the way to making our website more accessible, we learned a few things from the experts. Okay, maybe more than a few. Peggy Martinez, Accessibility Manager, Lighthouse for the Blind. Blind, we engage with people around the world to foster awareness of the power of love and forgiveness in our global community. Okay, well obviously that's important. So, had I been able to find that initially by pressing one of my usual navigation keys, that would have been fantastic. And I'm sure it will be fantastic when it gets fixed. I'm an artist and so I was particularly interested and um, I connect to things through art very often, but unfortunately it's not captioned, so. And the guy seems to be Italian, so. Rob Roth, Advancing Deaf and Hard of Hearing and Computing, University of Washington. Showing these gorgeous paintings, but I have no idea what he's talking about. So, my connection is broken. I feel like I can't connect to it. Accessing Love and Forgiveness, Kyle Johnson, Director of Communications, the Fetzer Institute. Love and forgiveness in many ways are about inclusivity, embracing others as well as wholly embracing ourselves. Making our message and work accessible to a broader audience are primary objectives for us. Consequently, enhancing Fetzer.org became an immediate priority. We look to experts and to the principles of universal design for guidance. Terrell Thompson, Technology Accessibility Consultant. Universal design is designing a product so that it works for the greatest possible number of users. And ultimately, the goal would be for everybody to be able to use that product. Daria Loy, User Experience Innovation Manager. So there is uh, one thing that is called participatory design that I'm a big, I've been for many years a big advocate. It's a big community of people around the world that really believe that it's not about designing for people, with this idea that you are the designer on the top of a mountain and you can dictate to the rest of the world you know, what's good and what's bad, but it's more about designing with. Now designing with means really understanding that you as a designer or an engineer are one, but not the only, expert. And that you need to sit at the same table with the other experts. Glenda Watson-Hyatt, accessibility consultant and writer. By including everyone's needs right from the beginning, Accessibility and universal design becomes part of the natural workflow of the project. Whereas, adding accessibility features as an afterthought at a later stage in the process dramatically increases work and cost, and hence, might not be as optimally implemented. If you're thinking everything is only in spoken English, you're leaving out many, many people. So, when you design a program, make it for the broadest audience possible, meaning you would want to include captions in English and possibly in different languages, especially when you're making a video. There are millions of people worldwide who have disabilities, and beyond that, there are um, millions, perhaps billions of people just using different sorts of technologies than are conventional. And so, I think it's important for people who are producing products to understand that there's a huge market potential for practicing universal design and trying to reach the broadest possible audience with their, their product or their design. So we have to really found our designs and our engineering work on a good deep understanding of the context. And once we have that good understanding, then we can identify what the real problems are, not the manufactured problems, and therefore resolve things and solve through you know, real solutions that can really make things better for people. We'll continue to work towards universal accessibility in all that we do because we see a connection between universal design and love and forgiveness. At first, you, they sound like rather abstract uh, themes, but if you define love as a research study assistant, a willingness to accept and uh, care for someone as they are um, and as they present themselves, um, it seems like universal design would be um, an intuitive way to uh, to accept that person, um, regardless of their shortcomings or. Um, impairments they may have and in order to um, help them you know flourish in their own way. 
Many thanks to it that began Apathy Raju, Dario Loy, Peggy Martinez, Rob Roth, Tarot Thompson, and Glenda Watson Hyatt for their insights, help, and contributions to this video.